here we discuss with the topic principle of virtual work <clears throat> it means that first in this we discuss about the work of a force work of a force means consider a body which is resting on a support and a force f is acting on it we know that force is a vector quantity and the force f is making an angle theta by applying this force making an angle theta with the horizontal direction the body moves or changes its position if the if you choose a point this is as a due to the application of this force this body is moving from consider the point a to b the body is moved from a to b and suppose consider it is moved by a distance of ds then the work done by this force is equal to the force which is acting on it and the distance the body displaced by it whatever the force acting and the body displaced by the action of this force for the work of a force we should consider that this force and the displacement should be in the same direction the point that should be remember is force and the direction of displacement or the displacement should be in the same direction they should be in the same direction now ds is the displacement this is the direction of the displacement along x axis and f is in, at an angle theta for this work done by the force is equal to f if we resolve this component it will become the force is like this here it is acting f and it is making an angle theta if we resolve it will become f cos theta and the another f sin theta along x axis the force is f cos theta. therefore f cos theta into ds therefore work done by the force is equal to f into ds cos theta we can prove it in another way the body is resting on a plane the force f is acting on it along x direction initially the body is at a due to the application of force the body is displaced its position to b it is displaced by a distance of ds instead of making its component along x axis i will replace this component at first i have said that force and the direction of displacement should be in the same direction instead of changing the force in the same direction in this direction i will change this force in this direction <coughs> that means here is the force acting and this is the angle theta okay now by changing this component this component will become ds cos theta ds cos theta we know that work done is equal to force into ds cos theta if we observe that here the equation 1 and this equation 2 represents both same it means that work of a force is nothing but the the work done by a force is nothing but the due to the force 
multiplied by the displacement produced by this particular force then they should be in the same direction now we can define a definition for the work of a force suppose if a particle is subjected subjected to a force f and the particle is displaced by an infinite small distance ds then the work done by the force during the displacement d during the displacement is w is equal to f into ds cos theta here we should remember that due to this application of force consider this block as p block this p block having a mass m is displaced from a to b and this force whatever the direction of the force may be both are in the same direction or i am changing or resolving this force f along this axis instead we can change this displacement along the force of action both results will resemble same okay this is the work of a force we got the formula from the previous session that is w equal to f into ds cos theta okay now consider a plane a block is placed on it and the force is acting in this direction f the body is displaced to a distance of ds whatever the point you consider on the body the same center should be considered on the next body this displacement ds if you consider this point then in the next the displacement you should consider the same point both the distances will be same ds ds now here the work done will be f into ds okay consider it as equation 1 from the formula we know that w equal to f into ds cos theta we got this formula when the block is placed and a force f acting which is making an angle of theta degree theta degrees but when theta equal to 0 the force will be in this direction theta equal to 0 w equal to f into ds into cos 0 degrees that is w equal to f into ds consider it as equation a 1 and a both represent the same okay consider the another condition another condition here the body is at position a the force is acting in this direction that there is no displacement in vertical direction because this block have only freedom in both these directions only because this in this because x direction only this block have freedom whereas in y direction whereas in y direction the motion is restricted by this particular what is this particular surface in y direction the motion is restricted by this particular surface due to this application of force here normal to the surface this force f is normal to the surface there will be no any displacement therefore work done will be zero consider 
this as an equation 2 or from this dev equal to f into ds into here the angle which is making with the surface is 90 degrees substitute cos 90 degrees w equal to cos 90 0 w equal to 0 from in this way also we can find that the work done is 0 from this we can conclude that normal forces normal forces will not perform any work normal forces will not perform any work okay this is the statement which you have to note and in the another case suppose we are consider when theta equal to 0 degrees theta equal to 90 degrees here theta equal to 90 degrees and next consider theta equal to 180 degrees theta equal to 180 degrees means the body is at position a okay now the force is initially here but when we will move a 180 degrees the force will be in this direction that is force f due to this application of force the force will be moving the body will be moving in this direction displaced by a distance of ds okay when we will substitute d equal to 180 degrees here w equal to f into minus ds or minus f into ds here this minus sign indicates that force and the displacement are in the opposite direction the force is acting in this direction but the displacement takes place in this direction took place in this direction here negative sign indicates negative signs indicates force and displacement force and displacement in opposite direction in opposite direction from the formula also we can get w equal to f ds into cos 180 is minus 1 w equal to minus f into ds here negative sign indicates that the force and the displacement are not in the same direction from the figure also we can observe that the force is applied in this direction but it should take place in this direction instead it took place in this direction that is why here negative sign indicates that the force and the displacement are in the opposite direction whenever the post the positive sign indicates that are, they are in the same direction that are in the same direction okay from this we can conclude that the force is a scale w work is a scalar quantity work is a scalar quantity having the units joule that is newton meter why newton meter here the force due to the force f and due to the displacement ds for force we indicate by newton for the displacement we indicate by meter that's why we got the units newton meter okay from this we can conclude the definition of the work work is nothing but the product of work is product of product of displacement product of displacement and the component of the force and the component of a and the component of a force and the component of a force why i mentioning the component of a force means the force is making an angle of theta in x direction but we the when we resolve here we get f cos theta and the another is f sin theta we are considering only the direction which is along this axis therefore we choose only the component of a force we are not choosing the whole force but when we consider in this direction we are choosing the whole force because the whole force in the same direction only here only the component of force is along the same direction so we are mentioning that the component of a force and the displacement in the same direction or in the direction of the displacement in the direction of the displacement in the direction of the displacement.